What's up everybody, hello and welcome to another video in which I am gonna drop some more alpha. Cause that's what you do on this channel, right? 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 We don't do development stuff, we drop alpha! Anyhow, look at this. The fear redeemer that we coded just reached 110 sol redeemed. 110 sol! That's like... $11,000 that people made just by using this tool. Isn't it cool? I think that's pretty, pretty neat, pretty neat. I developed something that people made 11K with. I mean, can be proud of myself, right? And so far I got like really good feedback on it. Like most people say, yeah, works great. Some people say it doesn't work, but they don't really provide more information as to why it doesn't work. So I'm like, well, Maybe it's just Solana being down right now. So far, nobody has claimed that that's a scam. So that's good. By the way, it's also open source and you can check exactly what it does. In fact, let's check out what people actually said. Oh yeah, I like this. I like my counters to go up. When did we talk about that? A month ago. So what do people say here really? Super clever on my behalf. It's useful. Bless you. Nice, somebody made some money. Wow, it worked! You're kind of the best person on YouTube. So, Ehrenmann. You know, amazing. I mean, I, I get quite good feedback here. You know, there people are, people are making some money. Yeah, $20 are $20. People love me. <laughs> 25 cents, boys! <laughs> so you got one token account. <laughs> nice. Yeah, so... There, and then pe some people say it keeps failing for me, or I'm like, well, maybe you just don't have empty token accounts, in which case, bad luck, or provide me with more information that we can debug this. And then another one that says it keeps failing for them. This legit? I mean, I would say so. Nice green screen, I know, right? So actually there's, to my surprise, no negative comments on YouTube. Or maybe they're auto-blocked, I don't know. But, you know, I, I didn't receive... So I got quite good feedback on the feed redeemer, also on Twitter, so it seems to work for most people, but somebody brought to my attention that it could result in problems when you're doing NFT staking, because some staking platforms expect the token account to be there when you unstake it, and then the unstaking might not work. And if that was a problem for you, then please reach out to me and we can fix that because whatever we do here with the closing token accounts it can be undone we just need to pay the soul again but it's nothing that is you know irreversible that we're doing here so if that tool ever causes any problems for you please just reach out to me on discord and we can can talk about it however to prevent something like that from happening i spent my weekend creating a new feature and i have it here so now it says show details down here. And when you click on that, then it creates this table and queries information about the token accounts that you have. So those are the token accounts that are getting closed. Those are the corresponding mints. So that's the tokens that those token accounts hold. And then I also query the metadata from the NFTs. So for instance here, you know, we can read which NFTs those are that I held in my wallet and then sent away. Lol, lol, lol. Yes, I totally, totally held that guy. If you then click on that, you can also see on Soul Scan. And I totally owned that. No, I just created the token account for it. I was thinking of putting the image in the table as well, but then the loading times are just way too long. So I, I decided against that. Because if you have like hundreds of, of entries here, then that gets a bit a bit too much. I also had to change the RPC provider because if you have a hundred entries and you need to query a hundred accounts, then you're quickly rate limited with the public RPCs. So we've got a different RPC here now. And this is not just for your information. No. On the left side here, you know what, I'm gonna just quickly move on here. On the left side here, you can find those checkboxes. And with those checkboxes, you can now unselect the token accounts that you want to keep. For instance, when you go through the list and you check, yes, I don't hold that anymore, I don't have that anymore, but hey, that is still my ape, 
that I'm staking somewhere and I want to keep that token account, then I just uncheck this and when I then hit redeem, then it will not close this token account. Then it will just close four token accounts resulting in 0 0.008. If I select it again and I would hit redeem, then I would get the entire 0 0.01 sol back. There you go. And like this, I can also just select one. For instance, I just want to redeem this one. That will also work. So that's the newest feature that I added to the fee redeemer. If you refresh the page per default, this table doesn't show and all of them are selected. So if I just hit redeem, then all of the accounts are closed and we can have a look in the console here as well. If I hit show details, only then will it query the metadata accounts because that's what's RPC intensive. So most people might not even want to do that, but you might want to check it out once, right? You might want to see which token accounts there are that you're closing. That is my newest feature for the fee redeemer. Let's actually deploy that. Still not live yet. And um, see, here's the thing. When I serve it locally, then it doesn't work for some weird reason. And let me move down here again. For some reason, all of those files here are just a manifest, even though that's a CSS. So something doesn't work with my serve or with my build. And I'm not sure what. We're just gonna deploy it. We're just gonna say, yearn, deploy, cross fingers, and hope that on GitHub pages it is served correctly. And otherwise, uh, we killed the fee redeemer and I need to spend another day debugging what is going wrong. Okay, we did it. Why, why did I move here? Why did I move? I'm the worst video maker ever. Uh, jump, 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 jump. Anyhow, doesn't matter now. Now we keep it here. <laughs> If we then go here, fingers crossed, refresh. Didn't update yet. Okay, okay, okay. Stressful. Oh, look, we have the newest version. Nice. And and people are redeeming. It's, it's really nice. It's really nice to see. We have the newest version deployed on GitHub pages. So if you go to loopcreativehandy.github.io slash fee redeemer, you will find the newest version where you can have a look at the token accounts that you are about to close. Now, another feature that I added is this donate slider bar here, because here's the thing. Deploying programs on Solana is expensive. For instance, this program here, the, the fee redeemer counter, this cost me four sol to deploy that. Then I also want to write and deploy a program that allows me to do Discord verification and that will cost me probably like 10 sol. I don't want to make money with this. Like I don't wanna get rich on your costs. That's absolutely not what I want. But I do want to at least break even and not have to also pay that out of my pocket because it is getting expensive. And mind you, I'm doing all of this in my free time. The whole development, making those videos, editing those videos. That's all my free time that I invest here. So if you want to thank me, you can donate a bit of what you redeem to my address that I will then use to deploy more programs. I'm not going to sell that. I'm not going to make money off of that. I'm just going to use it to deploy other programs such that we can learn together how we deploy Solana programs and, and how we develop stuff and we can build some cool stuff together. That's my goal. So I set this slider to 10% per default. If you leave the slider there and you would get 0 0.01 and you hit redeem by leaving it there, what that does is essentially it just adds a new instruction where it transfers Sol to my donation address and the 0 0.001 would go there which results in you only getting 0 0.009 from the 0 0.01 that you would get otherwise. You can, of course, say, no, that's too much, and even just say 1%. I'm happy with getting even 1%. There you go, then you're back at your 10. And of course, 
you can also just set it to zero. I do want to give you that possibility to of course get all of your soul back that belongs to you. Just put the slider to zero and you'll get everything. The most possible amount, you'll get it back. And in fact, there isn't even this transfer instruction anymore. You can, of course, if you're feeling very generous, can of course set it to 100%, in which case it will say no balance changes found, even though a lot of stuff is happening here, but then I transfer everything to the donation address, which, thank you. Thank you very much if you would do that. But of course, you can put it to any number that you like and uh, gift appropriately. Yeah, but if it just got drugged and you need all the money that you can get, set it to zero. It's fine with me, totally fine with me. Set it to zero. I always said, I'm not interested in making money with this. Your money should be your money. However, if you just made a lot of money with NFTs and you think this tool is great, I don't know, leave it at 10% or put it to wherever you want. I'm just hoping that with this, I can get a little bit of soul such that I can afford to deploy more programs. So that here on my channel, I can also deploy to mainnet and not just have to work on devnet because mainnet is just a lot more fun to work with. So we have the updated version of the Solana Fee Redeemer. Let's also demonstrate that it actually works. So we said we will close all of them except for this one. And then we redeem with the 10% and then we approve this transaction. Come on Solana, you can do it. There we go, successfully redeemed some Sol. We now have more Sol in our wallet. And then you will need to refresh this page because it doesn't auto refresh anymore. And we now see there's only one empty token account anymore. And if we would show that, then we see that's the one that we unchecked earlier. Yes. And also in here, ha, that's funny. It says it as a cent transaction. It now says this is a cent transaction to my donation account, a donation beat. And if we check out that address. Great. I now got the 0 0.0008 as a donation from myself because I'm so generous and I donated 10%. And now we can also redeem this one and donate the entire thing because we're so generous to ourselves. There you go. Approve. I actually don't like that it says sent because you get more soul back than you send, but you know, that's just Phantom's way of showing this but there yeah now it actually see one token account i sent to the donations address and once you're done here you need to refresh the auto refresh was causing problems it would have messed up my selections yeah that's the update from the solana fee redeemer i hope that this program is helpful for you if you haven't yet gone through your accounts to check whether or not there are empty token accounts that you can close go check out the fee redeemer and uh, redeem some soul and of course, if you want to keep it all, set the donate slider to zero first or leave it at 10. I think that's fair. Yeah, this has just been a quick little update video on the Fee Redeemer. I didn't want to release the donation thingy without talking about it. Uh, he saw how much money we make with this and he's getting greedy now. Yeah, that's not the case. I just want to fund the programs that I'm about to deploy. So... Yeah. Thank you for using the Fee Redeemer. Thank you for your trust in the programs I write. Also, speaking of trust, you don't actually need to trust it. You can also just check it. The source code is all online. Just go to my GitHub. I'll also link it down below. It's all open sourced and updated. And the newest version is now running at loopcreativeandy.github.io slash Fee Redeemer. All right then. Enjoy your free soul and I'll see you next video.